The stage has now been set for Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto to vie in the March 4th poll free of any challenges unless another suit is filed with the Supreme Court on the same. This follows dismissal by the High Court of the Integrity case lodged against the two that could have stopped them in their tracks in the quest for presidency. According to the five-judge bench, though the case against Uhuru and Ruto at The Hague is still underway, the end result cannot be ascertained. We are alive to the serious nature of the charges the third and fourth respondents are facing at the ICC. However, we can only say that much. This is because under Article 50 of the Constitution, the third and fourth respondents are to be presumed innocent until the contrary is proved. Even so, the court ruled that it lacked jurisdiction to handle matters of nomination and election of presidential candidates, saying that it is a preserve of the Supreme Court. The judges, however, supported the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission and other relevant institutions to hold inquiries into the integrity of the candidates, saying no inquiry had been extensively done. We found that the mandate of the IABC and other, and other statutory bodies in dealing with the issues of eligibility and integrity were not exhausted by the petitioners before invoking the jurisdiction of this court. The ruling has come as a relief to both parties with focus now on intensifying campaigns ahead of the poll come March 4th. For the first time in the history of the uh, Republic of Kenya, we are pleased to note that the courts have stood strong and tall for the people of Kenya and have come clear that there will never ever be a shortcut to power. For Uhuru Kenyatta and his running mate William Ruto, one hurdle has been crossed and that is of course the High Court ruling that has been made today saying that they are fit to run for office. But of course now they have to wait to see whether the ICC case will be pushed further or not. But as we do know, it is up to you as the Kenyan whether or not you want to elect them into the office. For JSO at 7, I am Melin Miendo.